Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Restrato Apps, and I'm going to be going over our new plugin, Dashing Memberships, which is a simple membership plugin built around Learn Dash. Now, we built this plugin to help solve a problem that we have as a company. We use Learn Dash in many of our sites to, to have um, to teach and provide courses, and we love the power of Learn Dash as well as its simplicity. It has so much to offer. Um, but one thing we found that was a little frustrating was that while Learn Dash does a great job protecting its own custom post types, which are um, courses and lessons and topics, uh, it didn't easily uh, protect pages and posts that we had and other types of, of uh, custom post types content types in our sites that were associated with that course. So if we wanted to sell uh, a new member course to, let's say, a course called Silver, um, we couldn't provide an easy way to to have like a, a dashboard or a welcome dashboard um, page for them that, uh, that we designed that was a page. And so um, we've decided, you know what? The recommendation from LearnDash was was to to buy and install a large membership plugin, something like MemberPress or uh, Wishlist Member or Member Mouse or any of these other ones. And those are fantastic plugins. We love those as well. We support those. But we just felt like for some of our simple course sites, we don't want all those features. We just want something that simply inherits the protections of a course uh, from LearnDash and protects pages that we tell it to, to as well. So that's that's the simple idea. So again, um, in this sample site, I've got uh, two courses, the silver and bronze, and there's um, topics and lessons underneath each of these that are protected by Learn Dash already without our plugin, and that's fantastic. Um, but what if I want to make a silver page or even a bunch of blog posts that are only for my silver members and then maybe I want to also have another set of blog posts that are only for my bronze members, but I don't want um, my silver members to see the blog posts of my bronze and vice versa. And maybe I want to make a, a page, a welcome page, when my, um, my members log in. That's one login page that's um, kind of like a welcome page for, for the silver folks, and a separate one for the bronze folks without installing and setting up and configuring a big membership plugin. I just want something simple and that's why we've we've developed um, our plugin which is Dashing Memberships. So um, what we're going to do is just take a quick look. Again, there's no, there's not, not too much in the way of setup. Um, we're just going to go into the settings area here and right in the uh, general Learn Dash area you can see Dashing Membership shows up at the end here. and very few uh, settings, but they're very important. First, this is what this is the custom message you can say. Um, you can have the the site um, spit out basically um, for visitors who are not, or visitors or even members of your site who don't have access to the course that you uh, are associating with that page. So let's say you're on they're on a page or a post that you've associated with the silver course. And they're not a member of that. They're going to see this this um, message. Now you can customize the message pretty effectively. You can um, take these placeholders here, and this will display, if you want, all the courses that um, are required to view this page. So if you have two, let's say you have six courses, and and you've set this page to uh, be viewed by two by members of two of those courses, you can have it. It'll only show those two out of those six courses. If that makes sense. Also, we have a neat little feature here where if you want to encourage people to actually purchase that course, then you can do so by putting this placeholder in. And the neat thing about this is it will show the courses as a list. So if, again, there's only one course connected to this page or post, it'll only show one. But if there's multiple, it'll show a, an array, a list of them. And um, you can basically uh, go into your course, and some of you know this as a feature of LearnDash already, but 
Um, oops, I'm in the wrong section here. Let's go to courses. And then I'll go to silver, let's say. And then down here in the actual options, if I want to make this a um, closed, so here we go, custom button URL. So, you know, Learn Dash provides this feature, custom button URL, where you can um, set up a, a checkout page um, if you want people to be able to, to see the course and have to buy it. Um, well, our, our plugin supports that as well, basically. And so this will actually link to that page that you set up in, in the course here. So that's kind of neat. Um, other settings to be aware of, um, what kind of post types do you want to add protection to outside of the uh, native Learn Dash ones? So again, um, we wanted to focus on blogs and we wanted to focus on pages. Those were big ones for us, but maybe you have another custom plugin that um, has another feature, maybe a knowledge base plugin or maybe um, um, a testimonials plugin. You only want to show testimonials to certain members. Well, you can do that um, by selecting the ones. Even media you could protect, um, but these are the default ones. And finally, um, what types of taxonomies do you also want to add restrictions for? And so this really makes it easy when you want to protect an entire. Um, uh, category of blogs or or any blogs that have a tag so that's pretty awesome and these are by uh, hierarchy so I think t uh, categories would outrank tags if there's any conflicts so if I'm gonna save these settings now and then just let's let's go up and, and let's showcase some of these features um, when we actually go to the pages now again let's say I have a, a member welcome dashboard page that I've, that I've created and maybe it has a bunch of different widgets and all this cool stuff but let's say I just want to protect this for just silver members. So we'll just do that. Silver. And then let's actually go into the page. We can see here that even with Gutenberg installed now, um, we have the option here to associate this page with the silver or the bronze or both. And so I'm just going to keep it as silver. I'm going to make sure this um, is enabled, my restriction is enabled. By default this is um, uh, not enabled and so to turn on restriction you just simply do that if you want to temporary dis temporarily disable it but you still keep your settings above uh, intact and you can do that as well. I'm just going to update that and then let's take a look at this page now. Now I can see it because I'm a member but <clears throat> let's just take a look at the actual page from the standpoint of the um, of a non-member. Let's copy this. Oops, I guess I can copy. Start a private uh, incognito. And you can see that this page is restricted to the following courses of silver. Now, I didn't actually define a URL button to purchase in my course, in my Learn Dash course, so that's why this doesn't actually show up. Uh, but if you had put a URL, custom URL button type thing, um, it would actually now link to where I could purchase the silver course, which is great. So that's uh, protecting the page. Now let's look at the bulk uh, protection feature, because I know that's an important one for a lot of folks. Um, you don't always want to have to do this one by one, one page or post at a time. So if we go to our posts, I've created a few sample silver posts that are that I want to be made and protect for my silver folks only, silver members only. Now, right now they're not protected and they're in the uncategorized um, category. So let's say I want to just take a look again, incognito window. Mm -hmm. just what does that look like for us? We can see that I can see the full post. Everything looks great. I'm not even logged into the site here. And so um, right now it's it's open. But if I want to protect this, I'm just going to go to the categories here. And let's go to the silver category. I've created a category called silver. Now I could just do this to the uncategorized one too. But you'll see that you have the same Learn, uh, Learn Dash memberships uh, area here that's similar to the page or post. And all I have to do is say, hey, I want to protect silver, 
people uh, protect content in this category to the silver level and make sure to enable that restriction. Again, I can disable it, keep those settings, but that's not going to help. So I've now enabled it. Now the only problem is if I refresh, I can still see the page because I haven't actually associated this with that category. So let's just do that real quick, bulkwise. And let's just make both of those silver. So now there's silver. And now if I refresh this, it's protected. So very simple. This is the point of this plugin is just to make this as simple as possible. So you, you don't need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a really complex membership plugin with a bunch of rules and regulations and, and um, different layers of, of hierarchy plus checkout plus all this stuff this is you know this allows you to, to utilize learn dash's simple checkout sim system the relatively uh, straightforward and, and pleasant looking uh, course grid that they have to offer. I, I encourage people to, to use that because we actually do prefer the, the Learn Dash course grid uh, for just showcasing the different courses we offer on a site. Uh, that's wonderful. And, and our plugin really complements all this just to add some simple protections to any other kind of content type you have besides Learn Dash courses in a really quick, really easy way. It really beats, you know, hiring a developer to, to set everything up for you and doesn't take that hit on the performance uh, that a lot of these big massive plugins do. Um, it's a really light, lightweight. So check it out, Learn Dash memberships for Learn Dash. We really are excited about this product. We use it ourselves. We think it's uh, fantastic. It's helped us so much. And if you're just looking for some simple protection features for your Learn Dash course site, this is the way to go. Um, let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.